All right, uh, let's look at the homework 11, uh, problem number 9. All right, so we want to create a collapsible, uh, name it as um, uh, problem 9 timers, and the display countdown timer to the due date of um, uh, homework 11. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, uh, let's open up um, uh, Notepad++. Uh, plus plus. All right, so here. All right, so we're going to have to uh, create another, um, uh, not this one, sorry. All right, I have to create another uh, collapsible. So I'm going to uh, copy the previous one. All right, uh, Control-C and then Control-V. All right, so this is going to be problem nine. And uh, it's going to be called uh, timers. All right. So uh, let's do that. So here uh, we don't need this. And uh, I'm going to have to change that later. So I'm just going to erase it. All right. So here uh, we did the set interval already. And we're going to actually uh, want to write code inside here. So I'm going to make a room here. All right. So first thing we want to do is we want to set the due date. So we say uh, variable um, due. I'm, I'm going to call it due date due. And we're going to say new date. And then we're going to actually set the due date, which, were, which is uh, April uh, 25th, uh, 2021. And uh, time is uh, 11.55 p.m. All right. Then I'm going to put the dot get time. All right. So this uh, dot get time uh, makes this, uh, uh, you know, milli in, in milliseconds. So we're going to express this in milliseconds. All right. Then after that, uh, we're going to... Um, uh, we're going to create a value called uh, now. And uh, actually, let's see. Yeah, uh, now is going to be a uh, new date. And then dot uh, get time. Uh, let's see. Uh, should we do that? Actually, we've done new date before here. Yeah, new date already. So maybe I should use that. Um, N get time time All right so this is the current time in milliseconds so now we have to um, uh, compute the difference so I'm gonna call it uh, maybe difference is going to be uh, the due date minus now All right so we have that and then uh, we can just, uh, so we, based on the uh, difference, we're going to um, uh, find the number of days and number of hours and number of minutes and the number of seconds, right? So we're going to say variable, right? So days, right? So we're going to have to do a little bit of math here, right? And the math uh, dot floor, right? So this is just a floor function, right? Then we're going to take this difference, right? Then we're going to divide by, so this is in milliseconds. So if you divide by 1,000, uh, it becomes second, right? And uh, there's 60 seconds in minutes, and then 60 minutes in hours, right? And then you have a 24 hours in a day, right? So if you divide, uh, you know, uh, difference by millis, uh, you know, with this, uh, you're going to get the uh, number of um, number of days uh, that is left, right? And then uh, we're going to do a variable. Uh, let's find uh, hours. All right, so we're going to do the same thing, uh, math floor. So this is a floor function so that we don't have to deal with the, the fractional part. So we basically take the, uh, you know, the whole number part. All right, so we're going to take the same number, uh, but uh, we're going to take a, a difference 
but we're going to look at the remainder of this uh, division. So we're going to do the same uh, division, uh, but here. So we have 1,000, right, 60 and 60, 24, right? So this is going to be the remainder, uh, which so we take all, all the days and remainder, we're going to have to divide it by, right? So we have, so this is the number of hours. So it's going to be 1,000 uh, 1, uh, milliseconds in a minute and uh, 60 seconds in a, uh, in, a, uh, in a minute. And then you have uh, 60 um, uh, minutes in an hour. Right, so this will get you the uh, number of hours. Right, so this is basically a mod. You divide by this number, it just gives you the remainder, and then we're gonna have to convert it into hours. So that's why we have we have this many uh, milliseconds in an hour. Right, so then uh, we're gonna do minutes uh, exactly the same way. So minutes. It's going to be uh, math dot floor, right? We're going to take the, the difference and then mod it with uh, 1,060 uh, and uh, 60, right? Then divide it by, right? So number of minutes, so you have uh, 1,000 uh, millisecond in a second. And you have a 60 second, um, 60 uh, seconds in a minute, All right? So we have that. All right, then we just have to do seconds. Uh, last one, uh, seconds, All right, is going to be equal to math floor, All right? We take the difference and mod it with. 1000 times uh, 6 of times 60 then we divide by 1000 millisecond because uh, their 1000 millisecond is equivalent to a minute all right so we have that all right so once you got all the uh, data we just have to say document dot uh, element by i oh actually we have to say get element right um get element by id all right uh i'm gonna call this guy um time left all right then dot inner html uh is equal to all right, uh, how uh, should we display? So we should display uh, uh, days uh, plus uh, we probably say uh, days as a D. Or actually, maybe I'll, I'll do this. Uh, how about this? Um, uh, days, All right? Then we're going to put uh, days and hours, hours uh, plus um hours plus uh minutes all right uh minutes and uh then second so here up uh plus uh okay, we have to put the seconds uh plus about uh how about this right left all right so i did the formatting and then i'm going to just uh, simply uh save it oh actually i forgot to do something i have to put it here so we we call it the time uh left all right then uh save it all right then see how it goes um open this up all right uh refresh it all right, so we have timers, and we have 
four days and 15 hours, five minutes and 20 seconds left. Uh, I forgot to add uh, a little bit of um, a space there. So maybe I just fix that. Um, here, go back in. And uh, seconds left uh, here, minutes. I'll put that in there. And then uh, it should look a little bit better. All right. So timers. All right. We have that. All right. Uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.